March the 29th, 2019. Guys, a couple of weeks ago, maybe three now, I think, uh, I did a video and we did a radio show. Um, Matthew came on from Truth Not Fiction Matters. And it was about Operation Pelican and Russia and some of the Clinton collusion about getting these shipping containers shipped into both um, up in Virginia and in uh, Florida, guys, down around Cape Canaveral. And that inside these shipping containers, it looked exactly like the ones they take off the ships and put on the trains or the the uh, eighteen wheelers. And that they can trade, they contained up to four each of these guided missiles, and they could hold any type of weapon. And remember, just a few days ago, I did a video about Trump signed the executive order about uh, the electromagnetic pulses, or EMPs, and they wanted to heavy, do heavy research, look into all of the weaknesses in our nation, and uh, we've talked about a, lot, a good bit about that. But now this report is coming out. It was a, It's actually about uh, 48 hours ago, but China has, is building long-range cruise missile launched from ship container. Now, we knew that if Russia had it, China has it. If they've got it, we probably have it too. And but the problem with China is that we have allowed them into different ports off Seattle and Los Angeles, things like that. And there's probably hundreds of thousands of these containers at some of these places. And there's been shipped everywhere. They sit behind buildings. You go to some of the big shopping centers and you'll see a row of these blue containers back there, whatever color it is. So you don't know what is in them, right? We do not know. But uh, again, now China has, has developed this weapon. It says, they're, it says they're building it, guys. But when if there's news coming out that they're building it and China's technology is par with anyone in the world because they've stolen most of it from us, but uh if they say or it's come out that they develop it they they've had it for years operation pelican has been going on a long time through russia china knows exactly what's happening but it said but it says china's building a long range cruise missile fired from shipping container that could turn beijing's large fleet of freighters into potential warships and and commercial ports into future missile bases think about that a moment and uh, when you think about uh, China's large fleet of freighters, two or three of the videos out of the hundreds that were wiped out after just before the uh, 2018 midterm elections, well, I had some about uh, in the in the 1400s as the Chinese fleet guys was about to take over the entire world. They had these large ships, these big Chinese warships. Guys were huge compared to ships like the Mayflower and. The, those type sailing vessels and they had conquered a good bit of the southern hemisphere and were they were eyeing the northern hemisphere and if you remember in that report the hand of god stopped them from completely taking over the planet because a comet came in and they watched it come in it, it, it hit behind the fleet down south of new zealand it created a five to six hundred foot tidal wave and wiped out the Chinese fleet. They found those uh, ships and they're still finding them five hundred foot up in the mountains along that area, all the way to Easter Island. Some were charred and just crammed into craves, uh, caves and crevices, some buried. But that went on for probably a thousand miles, that tidal wave. He took them out. But this reminds me of that. I just had to throw it in. It says, um, the new missile is in flight testing is, and is a land attack variant of an advanced anti-ship missile called the YJ-18C, according to American defense officials. Again, our defense officials. Now, that's what I'm saying. They have uh, already the YJ-18C. All they have to do is stick it in one of these containers. It's not much development to it. The missile will be deployed in launchers that appear from the outside to be standard international shipping containers used throughout the world for moving millions of tons of goods, often on the deck of large freighters. Trains, let me add that. 18-wheelers, setting in parking lots, setting in harbors, 
possibly many a foot underground because the lid lifts. I'll show you some images from that. And let me say this, the image that you're seeing is actually from the Israeli LoRa launch system, L-O-R-A. And uh, they have it developed. And it says here, if you scroll down, that the YJ-18C is China's version of the Club K cruise missile built by Russia. That was in our video and radio show about Operation Pelican. It says that also uses a launcher disguised as a shipping container. Israel is also working on a container launch missile called the LoRa. And again, that's it right there, guys. Disclosure of the new missile comes as the Trump administration is nearing completion of a trade deal with China aimed at uh, satisfying American concerns over illicit trade practices by Beijing. In other words, it's a threat. And what will, just imagine this, you know, no one knows for sure, but imagine that right at a critical moment, phone call between China and DC and China says uh, everything's activated all the way around the US and all the ports and we have inland containers behind half the Walmarts or whatever so you've got this play there guys if you think about it and if we're reading this and we know about it you know the Trump administrations and military intelligence are far ahead of us on this so they have a response and a reply but I'm just talking about how this game is being played says the new missile also could undermine China's current buying and building spree for international commercial port projects. The YJ-18C container missile also is being developed as China is engaged in a major global program, listen, global dominance is what they should say, called the Belt and Road Initiative that will provide Chinese military forces and warships with expanded access through a network of commercial ports around the world. China operates or is building deep water ports, listen, in several strategic locations, including the Bahamas, Panama, and Jamaica, that could be used co covertly to deploy ships carrying the YJ-18C. And they're talking about a Pakistani port in the Arabian Sea and uh, a port off the Horn of Africa, close to the st uh, strategic choke point there at the southern end of the Red Sea. Rick Fisher, a China military affairs expert, said he is not surprised China is copying the Russian Club Container Launch Missile. Guys, they are not copying anything. As soon as this Project Pelican became public knowledge years ago, the everyone with technology copied it. The new missile also supports China's long-standing development of deniable technology such as a hard-to-track shipping container fitted with missiles. Now, the weapon system also could be sold to Iran or North Korea, as China has done in the past with other weapon systems, including long-range missile launchers that were transferred to North Korea. Now, China is where we really need to watch this. And, uh, of course, the uh, Russia is behind the Venezuela deal. So we really got to pay attention to that area of the world. Why? Because what did it say? They have ports in the Bahamas and plans to build ports. Bahamas, uh, Panama, Jamaica, that would give them a way to move that oil and again have uh, strategic military locations. Now, this is a picture of the Club K that we talked about uh, that was Russian made in the Operation Pelican. But this says also China has offered for export the SR-5 precision guided artillery rockets deployed in shipping container launches again everyone has the technology they're not they may be developing more and more of it but it's everywhere and so are the Chinese containers in this nation they continue it says these missile launchers and we talked about this in the uh, Pelican videos can be smuggled through ports or via highway ports of entry and stored for years in a climate control building within range of U.S. military bases and taken out when needed for military operations. Container missiles also can be deployed on commercial ships that can sail off U.S. coast or with American ports prior to a conflict. Now, if you've been in any port, Houston, up the, up the uh, Mississippi River, east and west coast, they're everywhere. It says potentially Chinese missile launching. Now, this is important. Uh, con containers could be stored near the port of Seattle, waiting for the day they could launch an electromagnetic pulse EMP warhead 
and armed missile over the Bangor nuclear ballistic missile submarine base. Fisher says, think about that, what happened two days ago when this article come out. Trump's executive order on EMPs. Says the EMP blast might take out electronics on the submarines or all over the base without having to launch a nuclear missile from China. Washington would be in chaos, would not know against whom to retaliate, and perhaps China uses American distraction to begin its real objective, the military conquest of Taiwan. It will be both. Says retired Navy Captain Jim Fennell, a former Pacific Fleet Intelligence Chief, said a containerized YJ-18 anti-ship cruise missile would add a significant threat to the Navy given the volume of Chinese container ships that enter U.S. ports on the west and east coast well within range of the vast majority of the U.S. fleet. Not only that, the interior of the nation, the citizens. Of course, they would hit the military bases first, and we're going to hit back. But if you if you already let the Trojan horse in the gates, it's much harder to defend. And guys, how many millions, or if not hundreds of millions of these containers, now, they are saying if this capability is confirmed, it will require a completely new screening regime uh, for the PRC flag commercial ships bound for U.S. ports. And not only that, I think all port authority, every port, every dock should be handed back over to the U.S. For, with no outside control. It says, China state-owned Costco Shipping Company is currently selling its Long Beach, California shipping terminal as part of a deal completed last year to buy a rival container shipping line, Orient Overseas International Limited. Couldn't have that conflict of interest. Think about where they are. Retired Navy Captain Chris Carlson, who has written extensively on Chinese missiles, cautioned that the range of the YJ-18C is unlikely to be 1,000 miles. What does that matter? When they're behind every Walmart. And in in these uh, climate control buildings. And God knows where. On every ship. In, e in every harbor. What did, They don't need but a few miles. But thanks to Hillary. And people like Mueller. Taking u yellow cake uranium around the world. The Trojan horse is in. Says the YJ-8 uses subsonic flight and then speeds up to supersonic flight shortly before striking a ship. It cannot be, it could not be learned if the YJ-18C is subsonic throughout its flight. One official called it a land attack cruise missile. However, based on the YJ-18 similarity to the club missile, Cars uh, estimates four of the missiles could be deployed in one shipping container just like we saw with Club K. A standing container is 8 feet wide, 8.5 feet high, 20 feet or 40 foot long. Now, again, they're talking about EMPs. Two days ago, Trump came out with the EMP order. They are aware of what's going on. And I mentioned in the video, I think, day before yesterday, I think it was on Wednesday, that there had been a lot of transformers on the back of these military vehicles don't know where they're going it was a convoy it was a large amount of electronic uh, supplies again the big transformers whether they were building something brand new or being or getting prepared to uh, have to rebuild key locations the guys again china has it russia has it they will sell it to anyone but i think China is our problem. We'll watch it. We'll update it, guys. It's a heads up. Be safe.